dear young brothers and sisters of the new generation of hindustan namaskar as i have already mentioned towards the end of the last episode today let us start reviewing the true history related to the arrival of the portuguese and the devastations and the brutal activities the portuguese had committed in hindustan while i was in my middle school i was taught that in 1498 a portuguese sailor came to hindustan and he reached the port of calicut and that is the present kozhi kod of the state of kerala and he came to purchase his spices and that was a good notice for us students well a portuguese sailor came to kerala to purchase our spices such as cinnamon nutmeg cardamom pepper etc and that was a good notice for us and that was all what was taught in the schools and for the examinations the questions may come in which year vasco de gama reached calicut the brilliant student who remember the year 1498 will get full mark then again for what reason vasco de gama came to calicut the answer is to purchase spices like pepper cinnamon cardamom etc from the state of kerala brilliant student he will get full marks he will pass the examination so that means exactly as in the case of bahadur shah alauddin khilji shah jahan mohammad tuklak what they did in hindustan were not taught but it was taught to the students as if these tuklak alauddin khilji nadir shah bahadur shah shah jahan and all those people were eminent personalities who gave a lot of contribution to hindustan see the difference and we have seen that there were really worse than the devils if devils exist and that was the true story but we were taught as if we had to venerate those human devils exactly in the same way what all the portuguese did in hindustan and what was the story behind or what was the reality related to their arrival in calicut and why they moved to goa and what happened in goa and what the portuguese did in goa those stories were intentionally hidden i don't know how many people in hindustan how heard about the goa inquisition when i talked about this issue to some of my friends they were astonished really that was their reaction and that also was a reason for my decision to share with you the true history of hindustan which i could understand through my independent research because i am quite sure that you have a rational outlook and you have intelligence so if i share this information with you that will help you to understand the true history of hindustan and then again to make more research from your side and to contribute to the reconstruction of hindustan to regain the original glory and splendor so let us start reviewing the true history related to the arrival of the portuguese in hindustan the portuguese sailors arrived at the port of calicut on the 20th of may 1498 here we have a very clear and pleasant picture painting showing the arrival of the portuguese at the port of calicut these are the two ships see painted here with a cross and the people assembled on the shore to greet these two ships they didn't know from where anyway it was a surprise so people assembled happily to receive these two ships and the passengers who came on those ships and here we have the descriptions 
Vasco da Gama's discovery of the sea route to Hindustan was significant and opened the way for an age of global imperialism and for the Portuguese to establish a long-lasting colonial empire in Asia. After decades of sailors trying to reach Hindustan with thousands of lives and dozens of vessels lost in the shipwrecks and attacks, Gama landed in Calicut on 20th May 1498. And these details I have collected from this book of reference that is written by a certain Rutiero and the name of the book is Journal of the First Voyage of Vasco da Gama to India between 1497 and 1499. Unopposed access to the Indian spice routes boosted the economy of the Portuguese empire, which was previously based along the northern and coastal West Africa. The spices obtained from Southeast Asia were primarily pepper and cinnamon at first, but soon it included other products all new to Europe. Portugal maintained a commercial monopoly of these commodities for several decades. I think it would be also useful for your information to know the reason why the Portuguese and Spanish sailors tried to find a sea route to Hindustan. Fortunately, the Spanish sailor Christopher Columbus lost the way and he reached the American continent. Just imagine if he also could reach Hindustan after the sailor Vasco da Gama. And I assure you that if Christopher Columbus also could reach Hindustan, none of us would have been today to narrate these stories or to hear these stories. Because you know very well what happened to the native people of the continent of America. Coming back to the reason why the Portuguese and the Spanish sailors tried to find a sea route to Hindustan is interesting. That is, in the early ages since BZ, the Arab and the Moroccan merchants and the Syrian merchants used to come to Hindustan to purchase the spices and they transferred those spices to the European continent through Greece. So the spices reached the European continent and at that time, just like the petrol spices were of an important trade where the merchants could earn a lot of money. But what happened is during the 12th century, the war between the Christians and the Muslims, that is the so-called crusade, as a result of that crusade, the land route to Hindustan from the European continent was closed by Turkey. So there was the interruption of the land route between Hindustan and the European continent. And the European continent did not receive or could not receive spices from Hindustan. So the imperial families encouraged the sailors of Portugal as well as Spain to find a sea route to Hindustan. And that is the reason. And as it is learned from the history, Vasco da Gama, in his attempt to reach Hindustan, finished first in the West African coast. And there he could meet a sailor from Hindustan, from the state of Kerala. And it is from this sailor, Vasco da Gama, could understand the route from West African coast to Calicut. And that is the story. Not story, that's a history. The true history. The fleet, that's the two ships, arrived in Kojikod or Calicut on 20th May 1498. The king of Calicut, the Samudiri, who was at that time staying in his second capital at Ponani, returned to Calicut on hearing the news of the foreign ships or the foreign fleets arrival. The navigator was received with traditional hospitality, including a grand procession of at least 3,000 armed Nairs. But an interview with the Samudri 
failed to produce any concrete result. And note this information. The navigator was received with traditional hospitality, including a grand procession of at least 3,000 armed Nayes. Nayes means the members and soldiers of the royal court. You have noted how this Portuguese sailor Vasco da Gama was received with traditional hospitality because one of the most important mandras of Hindustan was and still is Atidi Devo Bhava. In fact, reciting that mandra in the mind, the king of Calicut received this Portuguese sailor with maximum hospitality and by accompanying with about 3,000 members of the royal court. And in fact, that great mandra and our traditional hospitality are the true root causes for all the sufferings Hindustan had to face during the course of time. See the irony of the fate. However, an interview with the Samudri failed to produce any concrete results. The presents Gama gave to Samudri as gifts from Don Manuel, that's the emperor of that time, were four cloaks of scarlet cloth, six hats, four branches of corals, 12 printed towels, which were called by the Portuguese as almasaras, then seven brass vessels, a chest of sugar, two barrels of oil, and a cask of honey. Just think about the imagination of Vasco de Gama and the Emperor Don Manuel about Hindustan. Because according to them, those products were, or those presents were not available in Hindustan. They thought those presents could be received as some sort of treasures by the king of Calicut. A cask of honey, a chest of sugar, the brass vessels, those Gifts being so trivial, Gama failed to impress the Samudri and his officials who wondered why there was no gold or silver as usual with the Arab merchants. So Gama really failed to present as a royal ambassador. I hope the episodes you have watched till the present one have started attracting your interest towards the true history of Hindustan. And if so, please share these videos or these episodes with your friends and relatives also. So thank you very much for having paid your kind attention to my words. See you in the next episode with more interesting information and facts. Jai Hind.